I am really delighted to be here. Excellencies, I love saying that word. And, and the reason I'm here is because I believe so deeply and profoundly in the power of exchanges, in the power of the IVLP program, of people-to-people -people diplomacy. And as Stuart mentioned, I'm the Under Secretary for Public Diplomacy and Public Affairs. Everybody knows what public affairs is, but lots of people don't know what public diplomacy is. You all are the practitioners of public diplomacy, citizen diplomats. And the, this very much is, the 21st century is the public diplomacy century. Basically, since the Treaty of Westphalia, diplomacy was about relationships between nations, between states. But in the 21st century, the most important relationships, as governments are discovering, is between people, people-to-people -people diplomacy. Technology makes that possible in a way that has never really existed in human history before. The globalization of the planet makes that possible in a way that has never existed in human history before. Um, I know Jennifer talked about, or the secretary talked about, Edward R. Murrow, the last three feet, which seems actually quite like a lot of distance between people. It's more like the last foot and a half or the last 12 inches with your mobile device, which makes connections between people in a way what social media is, is connections between people in a way that has never existed before. It is a form of digital public diplomacy. So um, in my travels around the world, I always meet with IVLPs, with exchange students, and it's always the most wonderful part of my day. I spend the rest of my days at the State Department of Traveling dealing with anti-ISIL messaging, dealing with uh, the Russian propaganda machine, so it's really lovely and wonderful to deal with exchanges. And to me, the, the, the benefit of exchanges, it's a, it's a fantastic win-win proposition. It helps the visitor. It helps the people who are hosting the visitor. How many people here in the last year hosted a international visitor? Raise your hands. Fantastic. And I'm, I'm guessing that, they, that you probably learn more from them than they learn from you, which is a good thing. Um, because what we've seen is how these exchanges influence relations between nations. Now, uh, President Arias, a Nobel laureate, it's no big achievement to invite a Nobel laureate to come to America. It's a big achievement to invite someone as a young man who many years later becomes a Nobel laureate because of what he achieved, in part because of these exchanges and learning about the world. Um, on the way here, we were talking about how uh, Xi Jinping, the new president of China, when he came here for his first visit after becoming president of China, he asked to make a stop in Iowa and have dinner with the family in Muscatine, Iowa, that he stayed with when he was an IVLP many years before. The benefit of that is incalculable, and that's why exchange programs are the gold of, of public diplomacy. Um, I would be a little bit remiss if I didn't talk about the things that are animating me day to day. And I mentioned anti-ISIL messaging. I mentioned the, the, the secretaries in Ukraine today and the, and the aggression that Russia is practicing in that, in that part of the world. Um, a lot of people over the years have talked about public diplomacy as being soft power. But one of the things that we are seeing in this new century is that we have to harden soft power. We have to be a little bit more deliberate, uh, a little bit more leaning forward uh, in the way we relate to people around the world and the way that we do our messaging. At the same time, on the flip side of the hardening of soft power, there's the use of soft power in hard places places around the world where we have no relationships, places, countries, uh, illiberal democracies, autocracies where we can't really communicate. There we do need soft power, we do need more uh, visitors leadership programs, we do need more educational exchanges. So those two things are what's going on in public diplomacy in the 21st century. Um, the, and in this area, 
of CVE. Do people know what that acronym stands for? Countering Violent Extremism, which is another part of public diplomacy. These leadership exchange programs are wonderful antidotes to the inclination towards violent extremism around the world. Just last week, as an IVL program, uh, we had 10 tribal sheikhs from Iraq's Anbar, Promise, uh, Anbar province uh, who came here, uh, met with the vice president, met with General Allen, uh, and there was a very frank exchange of views. It, there's no other way to do that, there's no better way to do that than people getting together, talking about these things, and I do believe that these exchanges, these international visitor leadership programs are ultimately the great antidote for violent extremism around the world. Um, and I just want to thank all of you for hosting visitors, uh, for being generous, for being citizen diplomats. Uh, we were looking earlier that the, that the actual Latin root for the word ambassador is ambactus, which means servant. And you're all servants of this great vision of these exchanges that are making not only America a better place, but the world a better place. And I thank you all for that. It was a great privilege to be here today. Thank you.